Hi, this is Madam Pamita, and I hope you enjoy this clip from my Live Magic Q&A. If you'd like to see the full recording of the Live Magic Q&A, you can do so. All you have to do is be a part of my coven. And to do that, all you have to do is click the link below or go to patreon.com slash Madam Pamita. I hope you become a part of my coven and enjoy this clip. Oh, Tashana has a great question. And I think this will be our last one. Uh, what herbs are best to let your in-laws favor you and love you, such as a mother-in-law and father-in-law? This is great. So there are some herbs. So we want to get into the herbs that are about home life, but not about romantic love. So we have tons of herbs that are for romantic love, but we also have other herbs that can be used for friendships and can be used for opening up good feelings. Now, in terms of a spell for sweetening your in-laws to you, the best go-to I can recommend is a honey jar. So honey jar spells, I have a video up on YouTube about working with a honey jar. I have a honey jar spell kit at the shop. If you want all the things, you know, for that, um, honey jars are about sweetening, sweetening somebody toward you and you can sweeten your in-laws with a honey jar. It's not just about romantic love. So working with honey and working with sugar can be great. Now, one of the ways you can be sneaky magic is if you make something sweet to give to your in-laws, make them some homemade cookies with sugar in them. If they are allowed to have sugar, if they have diabetes and they aren't allowed to have sugar, then that's off the table, obviously. But if they're allowed to have sugar, make them something sweet. As you're making it and as you're mixing that sugar into the batter, focus on them sweetening toward you. You could also you add some other ingredients in there. I wouldn't put cinnamon. Cinnamon is heat and that's about passion. So cinnamon cookies for your lover, not for you, and ginger for your lover, not necessarily for your family members, right? Family members, you can cook with lavender. Believe it or not, there's culinary lavender and you can make beautiful lavender cookies. I am positive there are going to be hundreds and hundreds of lavender cookie recipes, lavender sugar cookies, beautiful for sweetening them towards you. But let's say you can't bring cookies to them. Maybe there's an argument, maybe there's a problem and you can't bring cookies to them. Okay. Then do a honey jar with them. Honey jars are great for sweetening someone towards you. You can get a pic. You don't need a piece of their hair because they're not your lover. You just need a photograph or maybe something that they sign their name on. That's Those are great personal concerns to put in a honey jar for someone that you're not romantic with. You need a piece of hair for someone you're romantic with. Non-romantic, you can use a less intimate because you're not going to be intimate with them. Get that photograph, get that you know signature of theirs, whatever you've got, put it into the honey jar. If you can find a picture of the two of them when they were happy, or maybe you and your partner and your in-laws together looking happy would be great, right? Burn a pink or a blue candle, pink for sweet feelings among the family members, blue if you need to reconcile. The herbs that you wanna put inside for family love, clove is like my number one for friendship and family love. It is so good, so positive, really sweetens up the energy of a relationship. So clove is my number one go-to. Another one for if, if it's hot and arguing and there's drama, marjoram, the herb marjoram, clove marjoram, you can get at the um, grocery store. Marjoram is great for peace in the home, calmness in the home, no arguing, peaceful times. Lavender, you can also that add that to it. Sweet, calm, energy, calming something down and bringing love feelings too. Um, so those are three herbs that I would put into a honey jar for a family member using pink or blue candles. Um, you can use an oil like peace and tranquility oil, which is nice for making things nice and peaceful between you and your in-laws. That would be my recommendation. Oil on the candle, pink or blue candle would be great. If there's a problem with the um, arguments or things like that, you could also use release and restore oil, which is about letting go of the past and healing something. And if you need to heal or mend that relationship, that's a good one for that too.